Okay, seatbelt installation on our 60 Buick here. We're going to do six lap belts, three in the back, three in the front, from Retro Belt. My sand color to match the interior, so. <clears throat> Pull the back seat out. I'm going to do that first. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to find some spots here to drill. Okay, so just as simple as marking holes and making sure that uh, you're not drilling through anything important and they just kind of pretty simple. No need to make a video. Drill a hole, put the bolt through it, put the spacer on the back. Well, onto the front seats. Um, a lot more difficult looking than the back seat belts were. Um, breaking off bolts for the mounting. There's only one actually in the front on each side. Actually. And then, of course, the back one's broke. But I found the other holes that nobody had used. So the, literally there was only four small bolts holding the whole seat in. So it's kind of good that, that uh, we decided to take the heat whole seat out. Had to take the whole seat out. Because I'm trying to figure out how to get the seat belts through the seat. So that's next. Hopefully, um, I don't have to completely disassemble the seat because this is all like steel here. And up here, there's no gap under there. So I don't know. I'll get back with you here shortly. So update here on the Buick seatbelt project. So the seat on the floor upside down and I've unhog ringed all of this here. So it's like that. Trying to figure out how to get seatbelts through this bench seat. And it doesn't look like it's going to be very fun. There's this big plate right at the back of the seat there. <laughs> So the belt can't just slide up through the crack between the seat back and the seat bottom. So don't know what the heck I'm going to do. So that kind of sucks. But on the bright side, I did find five cents in the crack when I opened it. So we're ahead a little bit. Okay, so we got the seatbelts through. I figured out a way. Obviously, the seat is standing upright there, but... We did, I did get the seatbelts through. So obviously we undid this. Oh, crap, it'll fall over. And only with minimal amount of like bleeding, um, I was able to figure out that in between these seat coil springs here, there is a, just an ever so small little gap. With, you don't have to cut the seat cushion or the fabric or anything there. It's really difficult to get them through. But there is a gap and it won't be rubbing on this metal edge here because um, it'll actually be pulling straight down essentially this way, pulling this way onto like the uh, torque tube like tunnel, the drive shaft tunnel where it's gonna, these two will be mounted. These four, I guess, will be mounted, so. There it is. Next step, I'm gonna pull this, peel this back, hook it back in place, and probably make a neat little slit where these come through. And this is underneath the seat right here anyway, so you'll never, you won't be able to see that. So, it should look pretty good. All right, let's get at it. Okay, success, we got it. So, I got a couple slits in here. That's on the bottom of the seat, so you won't even be able to see the slit. And then these will bolt to the uh, torque tube tunnel. I put the hog rings back in across the bottom of the, uh, the piece of upholstery there to hold it up tight, and it looks pretty good. So now we're ready to try to figure out where we're gonna mount those in here. Probably on the side of this 
drive shaft tunnel here is what I'm thinking. So that's the next part of the project. And then after that, we're going to go in and grind off some broken bolts and drill them out and hopefully maybe tap them or something. We'll see. But these weren't even used, believe it or not. There was only one bolt in each and they all broke off. So I'm going to probably thread chase these holes, drill out the broken ones, tap them out, hopefully, or maybe just use a nut on the back side on some of them. But so we're going to put all eight bolts in. It had four in when I took it out and they broke, but we're going to put eight in like it's supposed to have. And then the outer seat belt buckles or whatever seat belts we're going to mount somewhere in here. That's the easiest way to do it. And it won't look terrible either. Then again, it's not a show car, so I really don't care as long as it's safer. So here we go. On to the next step of the project. Bye. Okay, so went for it. Cut the carpet, drill the hole in it was a little nerve-wracking, but, you know, sometimes you just gotta just get at it and just do it. And it turned out pretty good, because the plan here is that the seat belt will go in, mount in there, and then this flap can, like, kind of lay back over it, because the seat belt will come up out of here. Even though this is pretty much under the seat anyway, but... Here we go. Smile. Still here working. So here where we are. We have um I drilled out these holes. Um this one is still broken off, and then I broke an extractor off into it, so that uh, I'm gonna mess with that in a minute, but anyway, so the ones that were broken, I was able to sequentially upsize the drill bit drill it all the way out and then I tapped them to 3 8 coarse thread so one there you can kind of see nice and fresh the other one there and then the other one is over there nice and nice and clean uh, new brand new 3 8 coarse thread thread so tapped it out that worked pretty well I also realized that underneath there's nothing in the way so I really could just put a nut on there too but I tapped them anyway now I'm going to try to tackle this. I think I'm just going to grind it off. I'm going to bring my big grinder out. The Dremel isn't working quick enough. So I think I'll just bring my uh, angle grinder out. Grind that flat. Hopefully grind it past the extractor. Where then I can start drilling. Because I tried drilling it. Assuming the extractor is hardened. And um, therefore not drilling. So that's where we're at. What a pain in the butt. But we're making progress, and I didn't hit my HUD yet on anything. So, all right. All right, so uh, I got them all drilled, and I vacuumed up all the scraps. So it looks pretty good. These are all fresh. These are 3 8 16 or whatever coarse thread is here. And uh, the three over there are still good, so I just got to find some... Uh, some bolts for them and then the seats go back in okay guys just so there was a couple of the mounting holes that weren't um, used previously when I took the seat out there was only there was no bolts in them and um, so I'm just going ahead and put a little deep creep lubrication in there and I'm putting a just putting a 5 sixteenths uh, thread chaser down there. Just because I have new hardware I'm going to be putting in. And I've already chased those holes and they worked out really well. And the new hardware threads in really nicely. But these holes here that weren't used for whatever reason by the previous owner gotten really rusty and nasty and so I just wanted to chase them out so that's a new hardware with thread in easily with 
without uh, having any problems with it. Of course, I had to drill out a few of them, a little bit larger to 3 8 That one right there is drilled out larger to 3 8 and tapped. Here we go. So now, nice and free. Spins nicely. So that new hardware will just, just go, hopefully just thread right on in there real nicely and neatly. No, no issues. Yep. That's so good. All right, so we're about ready to put the seat back in. Awesome. Now, I am gonna do something on camera. I'm gonna admit defeat here. Um, this one, which has been a nightmare all day, broke off a drill bit in it first. Got that out. Then I broke off an extractor in it, thinking I would somehow, like an idiot, be able to extract that broken bolt out of there. I'm going to admit defeat on that. Um, there's no way I can drill it out from underneath. I've looked. There's no room. Um, I don't want to weld the stud on top of it. I'm going to put three bolts in it. And I'm going to say, oh well, I can't get the fourth one in. That's just how it goes for me sometimes. And um, I'm, I'm just doing the best that I can do. So, real life scenario there. When I took it apart, it only had four in. So, um, now it's going to have seven in, which is a hell of a lot better than four. Than four. So, I know I might get some shit for that from people, but, you know, putting some larger bolts in, one missing bolt, not the end of the world in my opinion, not a show car. Just your everyday Joe trying to make a car cool. So, yep, seat goes in next. So before we put the seat in, real quick, I forgot to make a video, but this car has rear heat vents for that push hot air underneath the driver's seat to the back seat, and these are the heat ducts here, which were completely covered by carpeting. So when I trim the carpet back a little bit, and I trim this carpet back a little bit so that it could go underneath this hold down which i'm assuming was factory hold down for the carpet um so that the hot air could come out and go into the back seat this is the rear seat cigarette lighter which plug rather right there um which goes there too so I don't know if I'm gonna hook that up. I probably won't. Just because smoking is bad for your health. So, and I have kids who like to play with things. Anyway, all right, seat's going back in. Okay, project is done. Seat is back in. What a pain in the butt getting all those bolts put back in. But look at, got seat belts in the car. That was the goal, to get seatbelts in the car, and we did. We achieved it. And look at, I can tuck this cable up under there. Look at, it looks pretty good. Like, they're tucked underneath there. Pretty nice. I mean, it doesn't look bad. I don't think it's a bad install at all. Looks pretty nice and clean, actually. And it's secure. There are seven bolts in the front seat instead of four. And everything is finally back together. Thank goodness it's done. Pretty slick aviation style buckles here. Pretty cool. Looks pretty nice, I think. It's done. Thanks for watching.